Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is deep fried bear battered cod. So what I got here is uh, two cod fillets and I cut it in small pieces um, and just the right size for deep frying. Um, we got um, a deep fryer that we're going to turn on 350 degrees with some vegetable oil inside. And what we're going to do next is start adding all of our ingredients to make our batter. So what we're going to add in first is one cup of flour. I'm using white flour. You could use wheat if you, you like to use that. We're going to use one teaspoonful of onion powder, one tablespoonful of garlic, powdered garlic, not the salt, half a teaspoonful of celery salt, one tablespoonful of black pepper, I'm going to put it in different areas so as you can see it, a half a tablespoonful of salt, sea salt I'm using, half a tablespoonful of paprika, half a teaspoonful of thyme, and a half a tablespoonful of ketchup. We're going to be using one large egg got to crack it there and put it over. And the main ingredient to this one is, a, a, I'm going to try a half a can of air first just to try how much I would need. But between half a can and three quarters of a can, yes, three quarters of a can. And just stir it all together like this until it's all incorporated. So stir all that together till all the bear is dissolved into your batter. If you don't want to use bear, even though bear is the ingredient, main ingredient in this um, battered cod, you could use soda water because you just want that frizz. Okay, so let's get started dipping our fish. I'm going to season the fish first. I'm going to put just a pinch of sea salt and a pinch of pepper. I don't want too much, but this is, this is the only time that you're really going to get a chance to, to season your cod, except once the batter goes over it, you're going to have all those delicious spices. Okay, I'm going to do the same with the other side. So just a little bit of sea salt over the top there and just a pinch of the pepper. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side. So we're going to get started on now dipping our fish into the batter. You don't need to roll it first into any flour or anything. This is all you need to do is this. Make sure it's equally coated with your batter just by twisting it over like this. Okay. When you put the, the fish down into, or the cod, down into the deep fryer, don't release it right away. You need to gradually put it in until it starts to cook a little bit on that side just to, for the batter not to run off and then you can drop it down and then move it slightly and do the same with each piece just so that it don't uh, all stick to the bottom of your grate. When you've uh, put your fish in there and it's starting to float um, only put two pieces in at a time and then if you got a deep fried, I got a lid, put the lid down, leave it there for about four to five minutes on one side and then flip it the same on the other side. I'll show you more after. So that's about five minutes or so on one side or until golden brown as you can see. It's absolutely delicious. It smells amazing in here. And do the same on that side. So we're going to flip it over and let it cook now for about four, five minutes, give and take. Okay, so now we're going to add another look. It's all cooked, absolutely delicious. I'm going to let it drain there for just a couple of seconds, and then I'll put it on the grate and show you what it looks like. And put it out on a little grate with some paper towel and under it just to strain off any extra grease from it. So now we're going to add some more into our deep fryer. Remember when you go to put it into the, your deep fryer, just to slowly put it in and let it start to cook on the bottom part and then gradually release it into the oil like that so that it can float to the top and not stick to your grill. So continue doing that. Don't overcrowd your fryer. 
So I'm going to continue adding more cut into my batter. And uh, remember, five minutes or so on each side. If you've got a bigger piece of cod, you can go a little bit longer, but you'll be able to tell. It'll start turning a nice white uh, meat. And uh, if you want to add more or less spices into your batter too, you could kind of test it in between when you take your first lot out. If you like that spice, don't add no more. fryer and just turn the fish over as you can see it's nice and golden brown on that side and the same on the other side. So again four to five minutes depending on the size of your fish or your cod. Okay so let's take this fish out. I keep saying fish but you know cod. I'm just going to let that drain there for a couple of moments. Okay, so let's just put it out on our grate there now. And as you can see, I'm sure you can, that I already had a little sample of this one. I couldn't resist. Um, and now you can see how nice and white the cod meat is on the inside. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to display this for you in the plate with some salads. Okay, so I already got one and a half pieces of cod there now. I'm going to add one more and what I did was make some potato salad and a little bit of coleslaw and I got those um, already posted on uh, YouTube and Bonita's Kitchen um, if you want to make that to have with your cod, your deep fried cod. So this is our delicious plate of bear battered deep fried cod and I got a potato salad coleslaw and some tartar sauce that I'll just put here on the side that we can dip our deep fried cod in. Um, all of this is uh, on our website and also on YouTube if you want to make it. Don't let this look ever so delicious um, and it's got nice crispy batter um, and again this is a serving for four people. I got two fillets and I'm going to continue uh, defrying mine there, but I just want to show you this display. I hope you found this episode of Bear Battered Defried Cod helpful for you today. I'm just going to recap a little on the, the cod. So we had two fillets. I cut it into eight pieces, eight small pieces, and I still got more to deep fry. And that's a serving for four. This is one of many recipes I got right now posted on our website. That's www.bonitaskitchen.com and also on YouTube. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. And each time we make one of our traditional Newfoundland meals, we will share it with you. And I'd like to thank each one of you for um, visiting us on Bonita's Kitchen and giving us some suggestions and very nice comments. Um, so thank you once again for joining me for Bonita's Kitchen. You have a wonderful day.